So the last part of chapter 2, question 22, uh, is D, and we need to find the percentile rank for x equals 21. And so we have the x value, we need to find the cumulative percentage value. Our first step is to figure out which row, which interval do we need to look at. So we need to find where would 21 go, and it would go here, because it falls between 19.5 between and 29.5. So step one, we need to find the width of this interval. So we need to take 29.5, the upper real limit, minus the lower real limit, minus 19.5, is 10. So that's width of x. Now we need to find width of the cumulative percentage. And so here, what we need to do is we need to take 45 minus 25, and we get the width of 20. Step two, we have 29.5 is our upper real limit, 19.5 is our lower real limit, and we want to find what proportion, how far down is 21. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so this is 10. This is what proportion? So we're going to take 29.5, subtract 21, and divide it by 10. So 29.5 minus 21 is 8.5, divide by 10, and that's 0 0.85. Step 3. What we're going to do is we're going to, what we need to do is figure out how far down from 45, so this will be step four, we still need to do step three, but what we're trying to do is the upper percentile, the, the percentile associated with the upper real limit is 45, and the percentile associated with the lower real limit is 25. And so we're trying to figure out what is this middle piece, where does the x equals 21, what percentile does that correspond to? So this is 20, and we're trying to find out what is this value. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 0 0.85, so we have to go 85% um, of the way of 20 down from 45 to get to that score. So we're going to take 0.85 and multiply it by 20. and that gives us 17. So we have to go down 17 steps from, from 45. So in step four, what we're going to do is we take 45, subtract 17, and that gives us 28. And so our conclusion is that x equals 21 corresponds to the 28th percentile.